Hey guys, it's me Tolha. So here is a full workflow of rendering this small modern house in Revit. Let's get started. So here I have this project file open in Revit that we modeled in the previous video. If you want to follow along with this video, you can download this project file from my Patreon or you can spend some time modeling it yourself by watching my previous video. Anyway, as you can see here, I started off by doing the usual thing. I'm creating materials in Revit to be able to edit them in the Inkscape material editor. Once we have done creating the materials in Revit, we can go ahead and create a new camera view. And I will rename the preset as well and link it with the camera view. Let's move the Enscape window to this side here and rev it to the other side and edit the materials in Enscape material editor. For the glass material, I'm using the generic material and just changing the color, lowering the opacity and increasing reflectance. I will be using grass texture from ambientct.com. Here I am creating a base frame using the sweep that I forgot to create in the previous video. And for the floor I will use wood material from the Enscape material library.
as you guys know we don't have the option to blend textures in Revit so to create realistic terrain I am going to create two layers of topo surface first we will see the lowest elevation point in this topography then we will create a new topo surface from the same elevation point And then I'm just going to add some new points with different elevations. And we have something like this. We will apply different material to this later on. But first I will quickly create a couple more of them using the same process. Or I will just copy this one. Now let's quickly add the assets to the scene. I will be using assets from the Vlogs plugin and the Enscape asset library. For the lighting I will be using this phase based lighting family.
for the vegetation I am using the multi asset placement option from Enscape. First I added the bushes using the bucket selection tool, increased the density and applied the changes. And it turned out pretty good. To add the trees, I wanted to use the rectangular selection tool because I only wanted to add them uh, to the back side of this house. As you can see, we are getting very few of them here with this rectangular selection tool. Even if I increase the density and if I try to copy them in Revit, it will take me a lot of time. So to fix this, I am going to use a trick. First, I will create multiples of a small component such as this one. Then I am going to use the rectangular selection tool and increase the density. Now let's confirm the placement and apply the changes. Then I will return to Revit and load the tree family that I want to use. Then select all the components that uh, we just scatter by right clicking, select all, visible in view. And just replace them with the tree family that we have just loaded. And there we go. We created this dense forest in the back side of this house. So I have added some other trees as well using the same method. And now I think we are ready for the rendering. Let's open up the visual settings. And I will be using NHTRI for the lighting. So let's load NHTRI. And to get the light from this HTRI, we need to keep this box checked. As you can see, it's too warm. To fix that, we can use this brightness slider. and it's looking a lot better now in the main tab I want to add outlines and some exposure in the image tab let's increase highlights to 100% and reduce shadows saturation and color temperature and remove all the effects and let's go to the atmosphere tab here I will remove fog add sunlight a bit remove shadow sharpness and make ambient brightness 100% now I think we are ready to export the rendering so let's increase the rendering quality to ultra and the resolution to ultra HD and the file format to JPEG and I will press Ctrl plus 1 to export the rendering. And that's how we created this cool looking small modern house in Revit and Enscape. So that's it for this video. I hope you have learned something new. So please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to turn on the post notifications and don't forget to check out my website learnrevitonline.com to get my Revit advanced courses. And to download this project file, you can check out my Patreon. The link is in the description. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.